Okay, next up. Shimazu Yoshihiro. Ah. Hmm, that's good. Shimazu Yoshihiro. Shimazu was uh, the Shimazu clan. That group is based in uh, Kyushu. When um, Oda Nobunaga in his unifying days, he never did make it down to Kyushu. It was up to Toyotomi to finish that up. And uh, Shimazu uh, Yoshihiro, he was uh, one of the uh, antagonists against Hideyoshi, Toyotomi, Toyotomi Hideyoshi. Um, Toyotomi went down there with a huge army and uh, uh, Yoshihiro's brother uh, older brother who was the uh, head of the clan wanted to surrender but Yoshihiro didn't he wanted to keep fighting on because he just had that uh, fighting spirit maybe not a lot of common sense but he had a lot of fighting spirit in the end in the end he he joined and surrendered to um, Toyotomi and went and fought in his Korean campaigns and I guess he, he liked Toyotomi well enough that he was willing to fight against Tokugawa to preserve the Toyotomi clan. <sighs> now, the interesting thing about uh, Shimazu, not related to the most of Gihara, <sighs> but um, the Korean campaign. If you ever go to Korea and you go to places like, uh, especially like Seoul, you see a lot of places, uh, palaces and temples that will say like such and such, uh, such, and such temple built such and such time, burned in 1590 something in the Japanese invasion, and sometimes it will say uh, burned in like 1592 or 1593, uh, rebuilt and burned again in 1596 or 97 or 98. Um, they remember the Korean invasion is more than the Japanese do. Um, what it was is uh, Toyotomi wanted respect on an international scale and uh, I believe that he had this crazy idea of trying to conquer China and become the emperor. But Korea wouldn't go along with it so uh, that's why he attacked uh, Korea repeatedly. And at the beginning, uh, the Korean campaign went along quite well, but eventually it bogged down. Uh, native resistance uh, became much stronger than they uh, originally expected it to be. One of the great heroes in Korea is uh, Yi Song Sin. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. He was an admiral of the Korean Navy. The uh, Japanese had a hard time supplying their troops because um, he was always hitting them. There was a, um, a big naval battle. And Shimizu was trying to link up with Konishi. In the battle, uh, he lost a lot of his ships and was forced to withdraw. But in that battle, the great uh, Korean hero and... Uh, uh, Yi Song Sin was hit by a stray bullet and died shortly after. At the Battle of Sekigahara, uh, Shimazu, uh, Shimazu did not bring many troops. Now, when um, Kobayakawa turned against the Western Army and attacked, he wanted to just drive straight into uh, Tokugawa Yasu's uh, headquarters and cut off his head, uh, even though it probably would have been certain death. To, there's no way they would have got in and out with his few troops. His uh, nephew convinced him not to die uh, in that meaningless battle and to, to escape. And so uh, Shimizu just made this mad dash right through Tokugawa's forces, and he escaped. However, his nephew uh, didn't. 
but his courage and his great escape made um, made uh, Tokugawa admire him, and uh, he was actually allowed to keep his land. A lot of lords that didn't side with Tokugawa, they lost their land, like Ukita. Anyway, Shimizu. So he was one of the lucky ones. He he got to live well past Sekigahara, uh, and uh, yeah, li outlived um, uh, Tokugawa himself. Got one more beer to go, and they're showing Mamma Mia on TV right now. Oh God. Oh. oh boy. Okay. Four beers. Yeah, four beers down. Last one.